I'm often asked why I decided to become a funeral director. And in fact, I didn't decide to. It kind of happened by accident. I, I fell into it when I was unemployed as a teenager after I'd left school. I saw a funeral director who I, I recognized from a family funeral and rather cheekily asked if I could have a job. And I was appointed to a, a temporary role, fixed term role, just as an apprentice, where I was trained in various different things. But during the course of that apprenticeship year, I absolutely fell in love with it. And the, the great satisfaction you get from helping people at the worst time of their life. So uh, like so many, I've never been able to leave. I work as a funeral director because I love it. I can make a difference in times in people's lives when it's quite difficult. I can ease them through the process. It's an honour to look after people's loved ones and that they entrust those into our care. I work as a funeral director because I want to spend my professional life making a real difference to people. It's a real privilege to look after people at that challenging time in their life. The way I got into the funeral profession was a happy accident, really. I used to work in touring theatre and I tried my hand at primary school teaching. I've known the family I work for for my whole life and it's a bit of a blend of the theatrics as well as the pastoral side of caring for people that I got from teaching. I became a funeral director because my business partner worked in the funeral sector and I was the florist and we sort of came together and she I fell into the industry. She sort of said, can you come and give me a hand? I need some help out the back and around the building. And I said, yep, that's not a problem. And we sort of realised that we both had the same sort of passion and desires for the families. So we thought about going in together and opening up our own funeral directors. Mm -hmm.